majority of our last few sessions have been really working on stretching her stems, so getting her comfortable sending the livestock from further and further away. Um, and then uh, I think the last session, we took the livestock from the arena into a smaller pen and she really, really struggled. Um, she didn't want to go in the small pen. She didn't want um, to go between the livestock and the fence. And you see that in her, um, her stems out in the arena anyway. She would like to go straight up the middle of the arena and then confront the cattle on um, the not tight side. So getting her to stand between the fence and the cattle, um, she struggles with that. I have to be a lot closer to her to help reinforce uh, what I want her to do. So she's just uncomfortable in those tight situations, which is pretty common. Um, not an abnormal thing at all. I kind of find that dogs who are like that tend to remain like that. There's a pressure, um, like something that worries them about the pressure or something they don't feel confident in. Um, when they have a lot of space to get around the livestock, they feel a lot more confident. And then when they have to squeeze in between um, the livestock and a fence or the livestock and some panels or, you know, in a loading situation or a shoot situation, um, they get a little bit antsy. Some dogs tend to bite. Uh, more in those situations so they get more aggressive and some dogs um, tend to fade out and don't want to be in those situations and she tends to fade out a little bit more which um, in some ways is a better deal because dogs can start to bite more um, make your cattle really aggressive in those tight situations and then so on top of the dog being worried about um, the spacing issue then your cattle are more aggressive because the dog is more aggressive and it just um, reinforces to the dogs that they should be worried because they get kicked often. Um, so what I want to do is just put her in here, move her around both directions, um, and then just get her successfully going between the fence and cattle and feeling confident with that. She's not, um, she's not much of a fetch type dog. You can put her in a fetch situation and she'll bring the cattle if they are compliant. But if the cattle are going to stand in one spot and not move away from her because she's not claiming that um, responsibility at the balance point, then I'll have to kind of turn it into a drive, step in, help her get the cattle to move, and then send her to where she wants to be. So then I'm changing the balance point on her from that point. Um, mostly the idea is just to let her get comfortable. Um, if she's feeling the pressure between the cattle and um, the fence, I'm going to just try to support her, um, not force her forward, but just be in a position to support her and hold her in that place. I don't have any tools. I didn't bring anything with me. No stock stick, no rake, no flag. Um, so it's just going to be body language in here. So me being in the right position. Um, and then if everything's flowing smoothly and nicely and we can get a fetch going, that would be great. You can fetch in a small pen. You can fetch cattle. Some people will say, oh, you don't ever fetch cattle. Well, you can do it. Uh, so if we can get that set up, that would be great. Um, if not, if we just end up kind of driving, sending her through, driving, sending her through, uh, that's fine too. So the idea is just really getting her comfortable with the pressure, not any particular goals with um, either getting our cattle fetching or driving. Her better side is her come by side, so she's more apt to stand correctly on the come by side. She tends to cut in on the away side. She doesn't want to give as much space. That's also another thing that can cause you some pressure issues. If she's already naturally not bending out well on a certain side, um, then working on getting that bend uh, is going to benefit you. I'm going to start off easy to start. Um, because she had so much trouble in the small pen the other day. So I'll start out sending her her good way, kind of boost her confidence a little bit, let her know what we're doing, and then we'll switch it up. The girl.